Namaste, Devanagari Namaste Hindi pronunciation, Enemshta listen, sometimes spoken as Namaskar and Namaskaram, is a customary Hindu greeting. In the contemporary era, it is found on the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia and among the Hindu diaspora worldwide. It is used both for greeting and leave-taking. Namaste is usually spoken with a slight bow and hands pressed together, palms touching and fingers pointing upwards, thumbs close to the chest. This gesture is called Anjali Mudra or Pranamasana. In Hinduism, it means, I bow to the divine in you. Namaste may also be spoken without the gesture or the Namaste gesture performed wordlessly. Etymology, meaning and origins Namaste nama plus t, Devanagari, nama plus t equals namaste is derived from Sanskrit and is a combination of the word nama and the second person dative pronoun in its enclitic form, t. The word nama takes the sandhi form namas before the sound t. The term namas is found in the Vedic literature. Namas Krita and related terms appear in the Hindu scripture Rigveda such as in the Vivaha Sukta, verse 10.85.22 in the sense of worship, adore, while namaskara appears in the sense of exclamatory adoration, homage, salutation and worship, in the Atharvaveda, the Taittiriya Samhita, and the Itareya Brahmana. It is an expression of veneration, worship, reverence, an offering of homage, and adoration, in the Vedic literature and post-Vedic texts such as the Mahabharata. The phrase namas t appears with this meaning in Rigveda 8.75.10, Atharvaveda verse 6.13.2, Taittiriya Samhita 2.6.11.2 and in numerous other instances in many early Hindu texts. It is also found in numerous ancient and medieval era sculpture and mandapa relief artwork in Hindu temples. According to the Indologist Stephen Phillips, the terms t and tvam are an informal, familiar form of you in Sanskrit much like thou and thee in archaic English, and it is typically not used for unfamiliar adults. It is reserved for someone familiar, intimate, divine or a child. By using the data form of TVAM in the greeting Namas T, there is an embedded secondary, metaphorical sense in the word. This is the basis of the pragmatic meaning of Namas T, that is, salutations to the divine child in your heart, states Phillips. In the contemporary era, Nama means bow, obeisance, reverential salutation, or adoration, and T means to you, singular dative case of TVAM. Therefore, Namaste literally means bowing to you. In Hinduism, it also has a spiritual import reflecting the belief that the divine and self Atman, soul, is same in you and me, and connotes, I bow to the divine in you. According to sociologist Holly Oxhandler, it is a Hindu term which means, the sacred in me recognizes the sacred in you. A less common variant is used in the case of three or more people being addressed namely namo va which is a combination of nama and the enclitic second person plural pronoun va. The word nama takes the sandhi form namo before the sound v. An even less common variant is used in the case of two people being addressed, namely, namo vam, which is a combination of nama and the enclitic second person dual pronoun vam. Representations <inaudible> 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 Excavations for Indus Valley Civilization have revealed many male and female terracotta figures in Namaste posture. These archaeological findings are dated to be between 3000 BC to 2000 BC. Uses The gesture is widely used throughout the Indian subcontinent, parts of Asia and beyond where people of South and Southeast Asian origins have migrated. Namaste or Namaskar is used as a respectful form of greeting, acknowledging and welcoming a relative, guest or stranger. 
In some contexts, namaste is used by one person to express gratitude for assistance offered or given, and to thank the other person for his or her generous kindness. Namaskar is also part of the 16 upacharas used inside temples or any place of formal puja worship. Namaste in the context of deity worship, scholars conclude, has the same function as in greeting a guest or anyone else. It expresses politeness, courtesy, honor, and hospitality from one person to the other. It is used in goodbyes as well. This is sometimes expressed, in ancient Hindu scriptures such as Taitriya Upanishad, as Atathi Devo Bhava, literally, treat the guest like a god. Namaste is one of the six forms of pranama, and in parts of India these terms are used synonymously. Regional variations In the Hindi and Nepali speaking populations of the Indian subcontinent, Namaste Hindi, Enemshta listen, Devanagari, Namaste and Namaskar are used synonymously. In Nepal, people generally use Namaskara for greeting and respecting their elders. In Odia Namaste is also known as Namaskara Namaskar general greeting. In Kannada, Sharanu Saranu is used in northern Karnataka and Namaskara Namaskara for singular and Namaskaragalu Namaskaragalu is widely used in the rest of Karnataka for Namaste. In Telugu, Namaste is also known as Dandamu Dandamu or Namaskaram Namaskaram for singular and Dandalu or Namaskaralu for plural form. Pranamamu Pranamamu is also used in formal Telugu. In Bengali, the namaste gesture is expressed as namaskar, namaskara and as pronam Bengali, pranama informally. In Assamese, nomoska namaskara is used. In Marathi, namaskar namaskara is used. In Tamil, namaste is known as vanakam, vanakam which is derived from the root word vanangu vanangu meaning to bow or to greet. In Malayalam, namaskaram, namaskaram is used. The Sinhalese word namaskara which derived from Pali also has the same meaning as Namaskar, Namaskara in Hindi, Nepali, Odia and Kannada languages, or a different greeting word is Ayubovan, which has the meaning wishing long life. See also Culture of India Culture of Nepal Anjali Mudra Pranama Sat Shri Akal Gasho Sampya Wai